Okay, now let's look outside the triangle. Remember when at the beginning of this section I drew three lines on a plane and a triangle was formed? Well, if we follow the lines outside the triangle, we encounter the exterior angle theorem. Notice that an exterior angle forms from the extension of any of the lines of the triangle. Anyway, the exterior angle theorem says that the size of any exterior angle is equal to the sum of the two faraway interior angles of the triangle. The reason it is so is because a straight angle or a line has 180 degrees and so does the sum of all the angles in a triangle. So, if the linear pair made by the exterior angle and the interior angle next to it are supplementary, then the exterior angle will be the difference between 180 and the interior angle next to it. Is that the same case as with the two faraway angles? Isn't the sum of the two faraway angles the difference between 180 and the interior angle next to the exterior angle? Well, if that is the case, if both angle 4 and the sum of angle 2 and angle 3 are equal, then they represent the same amount. Therefore, we can say with confidence that every exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of the two faraway angles. Let's do an example. If angle 1 is 30 degrees, then the exterior angle is 150 degrees. And because angle 1 is 30 degrees, then the sum of angles 2 and 3 is 180 minus 30 or 150 degrees. It checks. Of course, this happens with all exterior angles. The following table shows all the combinations of the exterior angles theorem for any triangle. For exterior angles 1 and 3, the faraway angles are 6 and 9. For exterior angles 5 and 7, the faraway angles are 4 and 9. For exterior angles 10 and 12, the faraway angles are 4 and 6. Angles 2, 8 and 11 are not exterior angles.